Hello everybody and welcome back to Crusader Crusader Bear. <laughs> now let's try that again. Crusader Kings 2, a game of thrones. Specifically our house long spear playthrough. I don't know why I messed up that intro so badly. I'm gonna leave it in because, you know, people enjoy laughing at people. So you can laugh at me for that because that was hilarious. Um, anyway, so when we left off last time, uh, I'm recording this straight after I finished the other video. So if you've left any comments or anything, I've not seen them. I'm not ignoring them. It's just I've recorded these as a two-parter and I've split them down the middle. Uh, so we, we finally managed to get Lord Rain Longspear to 16 years old. After the death of our father, we took charge. We were about five years old. So we managed to get through 16. So now we can start to lead our people properly by ourselves. So we need to pick a focus. And I think I'm going to go for a business focus, or maybe a... No, we'll go for a stewardship focus, I think, because we were trained as a steward, and I feel like that might help us just get a little bit more from our lands. We need a new regent as well. Uh, I think I might actually go with Goodwin Trant, because he did say he wanted to be regent, and I don't quite trust my mother, because there were rumours that uh, some money had gone missing, basically, and that she was involved. So I'm not going to trust her as my regent anymore. We do have a lot of things at the top here. Uh, telling us things are going basically wrong with our land at the moment, but I think we might, uh, I was going to say we'll start straight off with going for Hollis Hall, but actually we're going to wait just a couple of months maybe. Um, an important part of ruling a realm is learning how to delegate. This is something you've finally realised and your stewardship has improved as a direct consequence. We've gained some stewardship, so we are starting to improve in the area. I was going to go straight for a war with Hollis Hall, that was kind of my plan, to start off big and go for a battle against Hollis Hall, but I'm just going to wait a couple of months, maybe a few years, and see if we can get an heir. I'm actually going to send a gift to my wife. See if we can get an heir very quickly and kind of solidify our rule here. There you go, straight away. My wife is pregnant. So we'll wait for that baby to be born. Whether it's a son or daughter, at least we'll have someone to take over if things go wrong. And then we'll attack Hollard Hall. Uh, and with that in mind, we're actually going to move my spy master to Rosby. Because uh, he did manage to form a claim on our land. We don't have the intrigue to kill him though, unfortunately, and he has got decent intrigue as well. So hopefully he doesn't press that claim. I think we do have more men than he is. 4,000 men, we have 5,000 men, so we will be fine if a war starts, but I'd rather not risk it. Antlers is finally starting to reinforce with some troops. We'll have even more men. Duskendale still has a couple of hundred of men to come, uh, about 300 more men to use. Hollard Hall will fall very quickly. They have 2,000 men, we have 5,000, as I just said. So it's not that it's going to be a difficult battle and I'm waiting for troops. I just want to make sure we have an heir in case things go wrong. Uh, if, you know, if King Stannis decides he doesn't like us battling Hall at all, then, I mean, he hates Lord Jeremy and Lord Jeremy hates him. So I don't think it'd be too much of an issue, to be honest, um, to attack him. But it's just whether he doesn't want war in his land, basically. Aha, we've had a son, Laren Longspear. Laren Longspear, that's a good name. We'll stick with that. So we've filled our, fulfilled our ambition to have a son. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to declare war on Hold Hall to claim it for ourselves rather than a du jour claim. And then we're going to have the ambition to, I know this is slightly cheating the game, we'll have the ambition to win the war. So we'll raise just the men in Duskendale, I think. Oh, we raised all of them anyway. We'll try and join these together if we can. Uh, Cavern will lead these men and charge straight into Hold Hall, no messing about. Finish them as quickly as possible. Uh, we managed to get there in time. We'll then join up these men and join them into the battle just to speed things along. Speed up the siege. Hopefully we can take Hollard Hall before King Stannis tries to stop us. We'll form this into one big army. 5,000 men against a 600 man garrison. Should be pretty easy. We're going to assault the holding just to speed things up. And there we go. We've managed to win the war very, very quickly indeed. Enforced demands. There we go. So we now have Hollard Hall for ourselves. Disband these troops, and now we have the entirety of Duskendale under our control ourselves. Who are the claimants? There's a couple of claimants, actually. All the Rikers, of course, uh, one of which is in prison. My sister, both of my sisters have a claim. Gunther Rosby has a claim. And, yeah, a couple of Rikers as well. So, a few people who could potentially try and take our land from us, but I don't think there'll be too much of a threat. So we fulfilled that ambition. Our next ambition is going to be to become a knight. We were a squire to our previous mentor, so we're hoping that someone could knight us. We are a decent fighter, so it would make sense for someone to knight us. Uh, we're just going to have to wait and see if anyone decides to. Still have a couple of prisoners. I might just release them, to be honest. Um, 
yeah, we'll just release them for now. There's no point kind of lingering and holding on to them. We'll just get them out of our land so they're not a problem. And now we need to look elsewhere. We've managed to take Duskendale, so that was kind of objective one of this. It's kind of like a Total War campaign, this, Rome 2. Trying to work our way through objectives. But yeah, we managed to take Duskendale. Now our next target is Cracklaw Point. Uh, take Rooks, so we already have a claim on Rook's Rest. We, we're working on a claim on Cracklaw Baron. And then there's three more claims to get. It may be a case of taking a couple of them and then waiting. Ah, okay, so Goodwin Trant knighted us. Thank you very much, Goodwin Trant. There you go. So we have become a knight, so we need another ambition now. I think we'll possibly go for the ambition to have a daughter, just to solidify our dynasty, make it a bit bigger if we can. It's a shame he wasn't born with a genius trait, but eh, that happens. Do we have any minor titles we can give out, actually? I've not had a look for a while. Um, someone needs to be my cup bearer, so who likes me most? Uh, Cavern Cup. <laughs> Cavern Cup, my cup bearer. Uh, I don't know why I love that so much. Ah, oh, that made me really happy. Ah, oh. sorry. That that's just one of those happy little coincidences that happen. I'm going to make my wife the high almoner as well. That'd be nice. Um, someone wants to invite me to a tournament. We'll take part. I have no no kind of delusions that we're going to win it, but we'll take part anyway and see how it goes. Uh, the high septon has died and needs to be succeeded by another one. Ah, oh, Roderick died. My septon. Okay, I don't have any septons, so I'm going to have to recruit one uh, or employ one. So employ a holy man. Is he any good? Eh, uh, not too bad. Um, can't really complain. How good was Septon Roderick? He was not... Okay, he's actually better than Roderick. Roderick died a natural death. 68 years old. Lived quite a long life, actually, for this time period. So I'm sure he's happy with that. Oh, there's another sickness going around. Great Plague. Oh, that could be bad. I really hope that doesn't happen. I'm hoping it stays kind of down there rather than coming all the way around. Uh, the last thing I want is this game to end because of Grey Plague. That would be really unfortunate. Um, I'm just going to click through the tournaments. As I said a couple of times, we have gone through enough tournaments in these kind of saves to kind of expect what's going to happen. Kind of know what's happening uh, in these. Whilst preparing for the tournament, a young peasant boy is taken to help him with your horse and armour. Uh, you're not quite sure where he came from and how he came to helping you, but he seems an earnest lad eager to help. So this is like what we had with Cavern Cup. We'll take him on as a squire, of course. Um, should we give him a race to nobility? Not, maybe not quite yet. Um, yeah, Cavern Cup was actually a squire to my father on this game. And we gave him a nobility, and now he works, he serves us quite loyally. As my, as my cup bearer. <laughs> Cavern Cup the cup bearer. Uh, I'm going to be laughing about that for ages now. I don't, it's not even that funny. It's not funny at all, but still. Makes me happy. Um... So I think we'll do the same to him. We'll raise him to nobility. There's only 40 gold, which we have plenty of. So he is now Creighton Taylor. Interesting. Pretty good character there. We can actually give him a, a bride as well, if we can find a worthy one. Uh, I say worthy. He's only just become a lord. I don't think you're going to expect too much. Look for someone about his age. I think that would be the best course of action. Um, there's a couple there. There's one that's attractive. We'll go for her. Uh, married to a pirate lord. There we go. So we now have another sort of young lad helping us out. He's diligent, gregarious, and honourable. Poor fighter and a squire, but, you know, he can still serve us in some capacity, I'm sure. At least his dynasty can carry on working alongside our family. So yeah, things are looking up. Uh, we have plenty of troops, plenty of gold. I mean, we don't have as many troops as we'd like, but that's because um, we have too many... Uh, to, uh, there are too many lands under our control, so it kind of affects our ability to govern them. We'll make Cavern Cup our bodyguard as well, <laughs> as well as the Cup Bearer. Uh, oh dear. Uh, we'll make Morgan Sir of uh, Morgan Bookwell, in fact. We'll make him our Master of Hunt because he doesn't particularly like us. We need another commander as well. Uh, John. John the Riverman. We're actually going to see if we can find a better commander because we've kind of run out of good ones. Don't want any rulers, and I need it to be male. Arthur Dane's still alive, no idea where. Uh, Mandon Moore, ooh. Mandon Moore is our commander. Uh, there's a couple here that are pretty good. I think we need three good ones, if I'm remembering correctly. It's always worthy having good fighters around you. And Oliver Pryor, we'll invite him as well. 22 Marshall is pretty darn good. Uh, 
we'll just stick, unless we can find someone who's quite young, we'll stick with that for now. Uh, there's a, a bushy. Uh, too bothered by him. Uh, Simon Seven Waters. Uh, now we'll stick with the, th with the three we just invited. I think that should be enough to stock our army with good commanders. So we'll let them all join. There we are. We should be able to replace them now. Oh, actually we need all of them to be better. But we'll have three for now. Um, Melwis and Oliver. In fact, no, we'll look for another one. I want to have lots of good commanders. We don't have enough men at the moment for... Uh, you know, to need that many generals, but we'll still have them just in case. We'll invite... Maybe not Cedric, he's 50 years old already. Uh, we'll go with Ben Bushy. I feel like he... He's of a good age. Not too old, not too young. Good commander as well, so he should be able to work quite well for us. We need a new spy master though. Um, Mandamore's our best, but I don't want him to... Um, not be a commander. We'll look for a different one, in fact. I'm not going to attend that tournament. I'm a bit busy looking for things. Try and find the best... Oh, Lothar Lame. There we go. Invite him to court immediately. I always try and invite Lothar of the Lame uh, to my court. I did it in the Clegane one as well. I'm not going to attend that tournament either. I want to get things set up in my court and everything. So he has actually joined us now. So we have a really good spy master now, which is really nice. 26 spy. Or 26 injury. 26 spy. That's a sentence. Uh, so we need to replace John with Ben Bushy. There we go. So we now have some very good commanders that can lead our armies when we need them. Don't have a claim on Crackle or Baron yet, which is what we're working on next. And if we can, maybe if we can take that, I might try and take those two bits of land and then move forward. Uh, get some claims on them, because waiting for all five of them may take a long time. Unfortunately, I think his is a... Oh, okay, that's really good actually. His father, Gunther, died of stress, so they've lost that claim on our land. So our land's a bit more secure now. Uh, if we have a look at the claimants now. It is just Rikers who have no land and my sisters who probably aren't going to attack. So that should be fine. I mean, they will pass those claims on to their children, which is a bit unfortunate. Oh, this tournament's finally going ahead that I said I'd join. We're fighting Mandan Moor, so we're not going to win this. Or we are going to win this. How did we beat Mandan Moor? He's 11.5. Dual skill. Mine is 6. That's not fair. Sorry, Mandan. But we move forward in the tournament, get some prestige, which is always nice. Now we're fighting Roger Hogg. 6.5. Let's see if we can beat him as well. Er, uh, don't manage to knock him off. Can we get him this time? We managed to hit him again. And uh, we knocked him off. Okay, so we're actually doing really well in this tournament, which is bizarre to say the least. I wasn't quite expecting us to be this good. Uh, Florian Buckwell, 4. Okay, so of course... Oh no, we didn't fall off. Uh, this time hopefully we'll get the hit. We did manage to hit him. And knock him off. There we go. I kind of thought that, you know, it'd be the case that the one who's worse than us would lose to. We managed to win the tournament. 25 gold, and I think it's 50 prestige, which is pretty good. We have quite a lot of gold to build our lands up, although it is now a mild winter. So we are going to be getting less tax income, unfortunately, but we'll have to deal with that. Uh, we didn't win any of the melee events, but my prowess in the list did not go unnoticed. So there we are, we won a small tournament, which is quite nice. Um, someone wants... Oh, okay, that's just the betrothal between Creighton and Danella Black. There we go. Good little lad, this Creighton Taylor. He's chased as well. He's been tutored by Ulmer Slint. Uh, not sure I wanted that. Maybe I could find someone better. Who's our best? Uh, we'll get a good win to educate him just for the last few bits. Ben Bushy has dragged his unfaithful spouse before me and insist I should punish her. She'll be locked in the stock. Don't you worry. Ben, I've got your back. Ben, the two of us need nook no more. Need nook no more? Need look... Ah, uh, mouth not working today. Oh, uh. I do apologize. If this is the first video you're watching of mine, you're in for a treat. I'm telling you that. Someone who cannot speak basic English. There you go. Uh, I don't even know what's wrong with me. I just... It's just... My brain is not working today. Wow, okay. Rivermen are going to war. We have a claim on Cracklaw Baron. That is good. We will now try and get a claim on... Uh, I was going to look at how many men they have, but it doesn't really matter, because we'll be declaring war on the High Lordship, not the individual lords. So we'll go for Diadem next. How many men? They have 3.6 thousand men. We have 5.4 thousand men. The other advantage here is that if you can get to Cracklaw Baron, you can essentially block them off. They can't come and, you know, siege me back. They're kind of stuck 
fighting there. So if we can raise a couple more men, a couple more hundred men from different places, Atlas especially, then it should be a fairly easy actually to beat them here and take another High Lordship for ourselves. We are going to have a lot of land and we can only actually have technically two and currently we own five bits of land. Uh, which is why we're getting less troops and less gold than we could be doing, but I don't really have, you know, I have a son, but he's not old enough to really, you know, rule any lands. Uh, we need to look for a betrothal for him. Is there anyone with a good, there is another genius there. I am a bit obsessed with trying to get geniuses into the family. Uh, uh, let's just go for it. I always feel like it works. We don't lose any prestige, so it's not a bad thing anyway. King Stannis is colonising Summerhall, interestingly enough. Summerhall down here. There we are. Uh, let's have a look at Summerhall. Does it say anything about it? Yeah, Summerhall is the summer house that the Targaryen family built in the province, formerly known as Blackheart. Not a heavily fortified location such as King's Landing, one of the favourite locations of many of the Targaryens to spend the warm summers. There you go. So basically Stannis is buying a holiday home, is what this game is saying. Which is an interesting decision for him to make, but fair enough, it's his decision. As long as he's happy. That's the important thing. As long as he's happy. Because an unhappy Stannis is a dangerous Stannis. So yeah, we're kind of waiting for these claims to come through. I mean, we can... We could attack and try and take these bits of land um, down here. But I think I'd rather take a bit more... Significantly weaken them for the next time. And then have an easy victory over the last few bits of land. Because owning, you know, the entirety of this northern section would be rather impressive. Uh, would give us a good chance to attack some of the bits of land. I do really want to take Dragonstone, but unfortunately, of course, King Stannis owns Dragonstone, so it's going to be quite difficult. So when we take a North Crack Low Point, it might be a case of, you know, taking Rosby, maybe taking Rayna as well, or Blackwater Rush even, uh, if we can. Start to kind of surround King's Landing, essentially, so that if we do need to go to war with King Stannis, it's not too bad. A woman accused of witchcraft in Birch Hall has been dragged before your court. Several witness, witnesses have seen her performing dark rituals in her secluded hut, possibly related to recent crop failures. She claims innocence, and it falls on you to determine her fate. Uh, so you can burn her at the stake, throw her in the dungeons, or release her. I think she will... Uh, I'll throw her in the dungeon. I don't really trust prison, uh, peasants to accurately say whether she is uh, performing dark arts or not. Can we ransom her to anyone? Um, no, we could call her for a trial. Let's call her for a trial. Uh, my justice here wants a reward. Of course, he can have one. So, my Castellan is interrogating. Sir Morgan stuttered, stammered, and incoherently rambled in front of the accused, who rebuked his questions and accusations with each. With each? With ease. Unfortunately, his argument was so boring that many at court appeared to fall, almost fall asleep. He made a poor case. Uh, she proclaims her guilty, so we can either kill her, send her to the Silent Sisters, which I think I'll do. Let's do that. Send her to the Silent Sisters. It's a good deed. A man claiming to be a lord who disappeared seven years ago has found his way to my castle. He sings of the children of the forest, and some say his songs are prophetic. So we can say Long Lost by Home again, which gives us the kind trait. Uh, I'd love to hear him sing, uh, which is because we have the gregarious trait. Or we can invite him to a court. We'll go with the top one so we gain the kind trait. That improves our diplomacy. Weakens our intrigue, but our intrigue was low to begin with, so it's not too much of an issue. And we have a claim on Dyer Den. Okay, this is going really well, actually. We may end up having claims on all of them pretty quickly. I thought that would take a while, but we'll keep going and see if we can get claims on everything. Uh, I need a new treasurer. Uh, my wife is a pretty good treasurer. We'll make her treasurer of Duskendale. So there we go, things are progressing very nicely. Uh, taking Cracklaw Point would be a massive win for us. We'd have a lot of land and hopefully a lot of troops. Ah, Bloody Flux is going through my lands, unfortunately. Hopefully we don't contract it or my son doesn't contract it, especially. That'd be rather bad if that happened. Oh, Goodwin, Goodwin Trout died. Ah. So Amanda Moore's going to have to be my new Master at Arms, which means we need another commander as well, which is a bit annoying. Because uh, we don't have many good ones, of course. We have Lothar Frey. He can be a commander, I guess. Uh, we don't need a bodyguard, so that's all right. Oh, uh, we need a regent as well. We'll make my wife the regent, I think. Where is she? There she is. Okay, so my wife is now regent. So if anything happens to us, she can take charge. 
Uh, you're a bit late there, Jarman. He's asking to be regent. Well, it's already been given out. Sorry. Should have sent that message a few days earlier, and it would have been fine. So, a levy reinforcement rate in Duskendale is going up again. So, they have a full complement of troops there. My wife is pregnant again. I think I'll stop the video once we see what this child is, whether it's male or female again. I don't want this video to... The last one went on quite long, so I'm kind of trying to keep this one a bit shorter if I can. We are making some good progress. We've taken a lot of claims for this land up here. We can get one for the Whispers and North Crackle Point. We can take another High Lordship very quickly and become pretty much the most powerful lord in the Crown Lands, I think, apart from obviously the King. Um, Though I thought Sir Willem to be more reasonable man, his request to be allowed to duel Benchicott Hook, his rival, was slightly erratic. Sir Willem claimed to be constantly subject to his affronts from his rival and asked for permission to defend his honour. I will allow the duel. Ah, okay, so the disease has caught up to all of my land at the moment, apart from Duskendale. Er, I'm hoping no one important dies. That would be rather bad. I mean, maybe some High Lords will be taken out, which would be quite interesting. The church has just gotten some very beautiful stained glass windows, and as I and Sir Lothar con contemplated the windows, the priest approached us and asked what we thought about them. I thought about the symbolism of the windows while Sir Lothar just repeated what I had said. We could say it's too arbitrary for his own opinion, or it was a bit flattering. We'll uh, go with a bit flattering, really. We want to be friends with Lothar Lane, if we can. So hopefully this disease passes quickly and without doing too much damage to our our lands right now. Let's wait and see. So, yeah, I think we've had a good episode, a good positive episode. We managed to take Duskendale completely. We own all of it. Uh, some of our main rivals in Rosby have died. And we've started to gain some claims. Ah, uh, oh, Ben Bushy got the bloody flux. That's annoying. Uh, I've noticed Marshall... Sir Mandon's hard work, and everyone seems to like him. So we can have him heighten the morale of the troops or recruit more soldiers. We'll go with recruit more soldiers. That gives us even more men in Duskendale. 3,701. Pretty good. Ah, excellent. Okay, so we've had a daughter. Elron. Elron? Elroni. Elron. We'll stick with Elron. Elron Longspear. So that completes our ambition to have a daughter as well, which is nice. Uh, what other ambition do we have? We'll go with... Uh, what should we go with? Uh, maybe a mass wealth. We'll go with that one. Try and get some more gold. Because I think that gives us an extra point of stewardship. Yeah, it does. Okay. Excellent. So, as I said, I'm going to wrap the video up now. Now we've had a daughter. We've had a really good episode. Really positive episode. We've built on a lot of things. And we've kind of planned ahead for the future in terms of the claims we've got. So, if you have enjoyed the video, please do feel free to leave a like. It's not compulsory, but it is always appreciated. Thank you very much for watching. And I'll see you next time.